Bewitched was one of the most popular sitcoms of the 60s and 70s. Audiences and critics alike couldn't get enough of Samantha and Darren Stevens. The duo began to feel like extended members of our families as we tuned in week after week. Ratings went through the roof. To say the series was a success is an understatement. In fact, half a century later, it's still rerunning in syndication all throughout the world. If you're a fan of the show, you probably remember little Tabitha, Sam and Darren's daughter. Her addition marked a major turning point in the story. She quickly became an essential addition to the cast and won over our hearts with her cute, endearing ways. Although she could be a bit of a handful as well. She started using magic at a young age, including twitching her nose just like her mother. Samantha and Darren certainly had their hands full. Tabitha was particularly headstrong and needed extra special discipline. Despite her unorthodox upbringing, she turned out to be a pretty well-adjusted kid. Well, little Tabitha, portrayed by Aaron Murphy, is all grown up now, and we have the inside scoop as to what she's been up to after all these years. Some child stars wind up having pretty awful lives, but we think you'll find that Murphy has found her way. Sure, she might not be a huge Hollywood movie star these days, but she certainly has carved out her own path to success. Many different jobs. When the final episode of Bewitched aired in 1972, Erin was just nine years old, but she was all too eager to get in front of the camera once again. By the time she reached junior high, she had already appeared in over 80 commercials. While in high school, she was head cheerleader and homecoming queen. She also did some modeling when she had time. Murphy got consistently good marks in school and was in the top 10% of her class. After she graduated from El Toro High School in Lake Forest, California, she set out determined and motivated to make a name for herself. She wanted the best out of life, and she had the intelligence and experience to pull it off. Murphy's expertise isn't isolated to one field. She's a bit of a Jill of all trades. She has a wide array of talents that helped her find success in various realms early on in her life. For example, she sold cosmetics, worked as a makeup artist, recruited new talent as a casting director, designed fashion, taught acting classes, hosted a karaoke club, and gave motivational speeches at high-profile events. She certainly wasn't just sitting around twiddling her thumbs. She shared a bit of her life story with the Tolucan Times, a community paper in the Toluca Lake area of L.A. In that interview, she highlighted some of the motivating factors that propelled her forward while working these various jobs. She expressed she's a big believer that life is short, and you have to throw yourself into it to get the most out of it. She further explained how she feels you have to push yourself and take risks to have an interesting life worth living. Nobody really accomplishes anything spectacular playing it safe all the time. You have to do things that might be a little scary from time to time, but in the end, it's all worth it. For quite some time after finishing high school, Murphy stayed away from the cameras. All her projects were satisfying for her and paid the bills, but seeing as she grew up essentially in front of the camera, she couldn't stay away from the screen very long. Reality TV host Even though her primary interest was acting in sitcoms, Murphy never regretted the time she spent working as a reality TV correspondent for Fox Reality Channel. She's also worked as a host and correspondent for TV Land, TVGasm.com, and E! In addition to serving as the on-air moderator for Allergen Medical. In 2006, she appeared on the short-lived NBC game show Identity as one of the 11 strangers that helped the contestants solve trivia questions for cash. That same year, she hosted One vs. 100 alongside Bob Saget. In 2008, she appeared on Danny Bonaducci's I Know My Kid's a Star reality show as a celebrity judge. She followed that up with appearances on HGTV's Craft Lab and Over Your Head and Animal Planet's Groomer Has It. Sure, her fans would probably prefer to see her have a comeback on a sitcom, but Murphy has had an active and successful career in the entertainment industry. And for every appearance she's made in front of the camera, she's also spent a significant amount of time working behind the scenes in more production-oriented roles. And you'd be hard-pressed to find a job Murphy couldn't do. In 2008, she actually took her talents to the ring, appearing on CMT's Hulk Hogan's Celebrity Championship Wrestling as a celebrity contestant. Aaron's wrestling name was Mistress of Mayhem, aka Mom. In 2010, she was a contestant in the celebrity finale of season one of RuPaul's Drag U. Murphy is also a successful entrepreneur. 
She co-created a company called Slim Chillers that produces low-calorie vodka-infused popsicles. Her products are available in literally thousands of retail stores across the country, as well as in Australia and China. She also owns and operates another business she calls Erin Murphy Knits, where she sells hand-knit luxury alpaca fashion and handbags made from wool she has harvested from her own alpacas. She describes her products as being softer than cashmere, warmer and lighter than traditional wool, hypoallergenic, and eco-friendly. In 2012, Erin was featured in a photo spread in OK Magazine with two of her alpacas at her private ranch in Bell Canyon, California. Her business ventures must be paying off pretty well. Recent estimates put her net worth as around $10 million. That's a significant chunk of change for a former child star. In 2018, Variety magazine reported she had purchased a $2.5 million beachfront home in Malibu. Not too shabby, Tabitha. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you stick around for the rest of the video to find out if Murphy has any plans of making a return to the sitcom world. Murphy and you know me from Theater and West. activism. Early on in her acting career, Murphy decided she had little to no desire to do theater. But as fate would have it, she'd change her mind on that later in life. In 2016, she took her desire to act to a local L.A. theater where she performed in a play called Dead Pilots Society. She's actively involved in numerous charity and activist causes. She supports AIDS awareness, Meals on Wheels, cancer research, and has spoken up against bullying through numerous motivational seminars she's hosted. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, she raised a great deal of money to help those who had been displaced by the storm. The cause closest to her heart is autism advocacy. One of her six children was diagnosed with autism when they were still very young. She's been actively raising awareness for the cause ever since. She had taken part in raising awareness for autism, but after her son Parker was diagnosed with it, she made it her primary focus. She regularly attends autism walks and marathons, she volunteers, and she speaks at events to support other parents. A portion of the proceeds from her businesses also goes to autism research. She's hinted at returning to television. Murphy has recently hinted she might make a return to the world of TV. In 2017, she starred in a short film called I Might Be Famous and a made-for-TV movie called Life Interrupted. Granted, neither project drew a lot of attention, but it's still a sign she isn't completely out of the game. She told ABC News a few years ago she never wanted to be complacent. So who knows, and we're excited to see what projects Murphy might work on in the future. She's been dealing with the pandemic just like all of us. 2020 was a difficult year for pretty much everyone. Murphy's been dealing with the coronavirus pandemic and lockdowns just like everyone else. She told Fox back in April she's been doing a lot of cooking, cleaning, and has been homeschooling her kids. To pass the time, she and her family have been playing lots of board games. She mentioned that Rummy Cube and A to Z are her personal favorites. She and her family have also been engaging in regular Zoom dinner parties with her friends as often as they can. She's also taken some time to enroll in online workout classes and goes out on long walks with her dog every day. In addition to cooking, blasting music, and dancing around her waterfront house, she's also dusted off her old Nintendo Wii and has been playing Wii Sports Resort to pass the time. In 2019, she reprised her role of Tabitha in the YouTube series TV Therapy. The show features a different classic TV character each episode, unloading their past and current baggage on Dr. Steven Nielsen's therapy sofa. We've made it to the end of another fact packed video. This is the part where you get the chance to have your voice heard. Do you think Erin Murphy should make a return to TV? Or do you think she should stick with the projects and businesses she's been managing in recent years? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you move on, make sure you support us by giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Make sure you tap the bell icon to turn on notifications and keep up with all our latest videos.